So the Meridian High remodel and expansion started three years ago and we were using plant levy revenue to bring its academic classrooms up to the same standards as our other, other, as our other schools. So we were, re, were demolishing science labs and redoing them so they look like our other schools. We were reconfiguring um, classrooms so the same size and, and, and same attributes as our other schools. Then when we got the bond pass, what that enabled us to do is that rather than having a construction schedule that was gonna stretch out to 2020 or maybe 2021, um, we're able to get this open by the fall of 2017. So what you see behind me is the new addition to the building where the administrative offices will move, they will become a chem lab, where the library will be moved, they will become new classrooms in the academic building. And, and by the time that it's done, you will have a school that's on par in terms of the learning environment for kids that you find at all of our schools. Um, different ideas about design and in places it's showing its age um, and, and needs to be upgraded. There are, so it, it goes down and around and there's, and there's classrooms um, all along here in the, in the middle as well and, and all of this will be redone. Um, all of this will be brought up to the same kind of standards that we have at our other schools, the same size class sizes, they're improving the HVAC, sometimes talk to teachers and they'll talk about, well, if you're in the wrong classroom, it's really cold. Um, more electrical outlets to deal with all the technology that's in schools today. Um, so this is just sort of, you get a sense of what it's like, what this part of it's like. Now we can walk around this wing that we have now and then you'll be able to kind of see what the new classrooms are like in comparison. So this is the current lab, um, one of the science labs in the building. I was surprised that's one of the few places left that actually has a chalkboard, but um, just give you a sense of, of what the labs are like um, or, or have been like in this building now. Again, they're 40 years old. Um, they're, sh they're showing their age, they're not laid out as well um, as they are in our other schools. The sort of narrow configuration of this classroom is a little bit actually problematic because kids sitting over here can probably hardly see what's being written on the, on the board as the teachers are working. But So, a few things you notice right off the bat. You have the teaching station immediately adjacent to the lab area, so kids are going immediately from from lecture to what they're supposed to be working on. Uh, a lot more power outlets, a lot more places to store stuff, um, just a better layout of the, the labs, a lot more storage under the cabinets. It, this looks like a lab that you would see at Rocky Mountain or Mountain View. The, the first phases of the project, we put uh, 10 million dollars into that and then the bond had 24 million, but in the end, the total project cost is gonna be 30 million. 30 million, we're gonna remodel and expand this, as opposed to paying 60 million to build a brand new high school.